Again on the margins of the fourth EU Africa summit, one of Africa's most admired presidents is here to honor an invitation to speak at the high level meeting of the Robag Malaria Partnership. This early morning event is convened in partnership with the African Union. At this meeting, President Selib is joined by Tanzania's Jakaya Kikwiti. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki moon, African Union Commission Chair Prosy Nkozana Clarice Dlamini Zuma, Ghana's John Mahama, the Comoro Islands Ikilulu Duanini, and Dr. Fatumata Nafu Traore, Executive Director of Rubak Malaria. In keeping the flair of the event high, South African musical artist, the Princess of Africa, is on hand as master of the ceremony. Yvonne Shaka Shaka is also a UNICEF Goodwill ambassador. All of the speakers here agree on the importance of help for Africa's development with calls for Africa and the world to do more in fighting malaria. In stressing the importance of health, the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon sums it up this way. Help the country, help the people, make leads for good investment. Ladies and gentlemen, um, it's often said that health is the greatest wealth. It is our responsibility, particularly presidents and prime ministers and ministers, who have to ensure healthy country by having healthy people. We also should remember that individual health can generate national wealth. Healthy communities create more vibrant, inclusive societies that allow people and economies to, to thrive. Today, 3,000 children died from malaria and 1 million will die by the end of December, making malaria the leading cause of death in Africa. Ban Ki-moon is coming to Africa soon. The Roback Malaria Partnership team is adding a mosquito net to his luggage. Mosquito net has proven to be one of the most effective means of combating malaria and courting malaria-related deaths on the continent. <laughs> <laughs> Here now is the woman who is an inspiration for women across the world, President Erling Johnson Sirleaf. Ladies and gentlemen, the very first female president in the African continent. President Sirleaf in 2012 headed the African Leaders Malaria Alliance and she brings vast experience to the subject. <laughs> President Selif moves on to spread her insightful thoughts on the malaria discourse, beginning with a point on the importance of universal health care. One of the most crucial area of concerns will be health. Universal health care, water and sanitation and access to affordable medication must claim our attention with some urgency. And she continues urging global actors to fight malaria, which she calls a poor people disease. And she challenges the world of science to find a remedy to this deadly intruder. In today's world, where medication for HIV, AIDS, and other diseases have been invented, tested, and proven effective in a matter of years, malaria still remains a killer. This is a poor people disease. We must continue to call upon the scientific community, the medical research institutions, as well as the pharmaceutical industry to join us in the fight and make malaria something of the past. And now it is time to go, but not until the melodious tune of single even Shaka Shaka commands silence in the hall. It is how we grow, so I step out of the ordinary. I can feel my soul ascending. I'm on my way. Can't stop me now. You can do the same. And for our CRTV News, this is Mama Didiakite reporting. Proud. Never too late to try. What have you done today to make you feel proud? What have you done today to make you feel proud? Have a good morning. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.